Sakshi, how are you? Hi Andrea, I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you so much. Sakshi, just starting off, congratulations on getting into Grenoble. How was your experience with the Mariner Sing? Well, thank you so much. Uh, my experience was really good. I actually was finding it very difficult to go about the whole process of you know starting uh, like from selecting the colleges and like doing everything. So MIM was always at my disposal, solving all my doubts and everything. So it was really good. I'm, I'm so grateful. Glad. I'm so glad, Sakshi. So there was one thing that I had to ask that you like best about the service, right? Uh, what would that be? Um, I think that would be that the consultant, like my consultant, he was very experienced about what he was doing. He knew what he was doing uh, and he was making me work really hard. That was one thing. Uh, other than that, uh, MIM was always available. Uh, my uh, Achil, who was uh, actually coordinating between me and uh, my consultant, she was always there and you know she helped me with uh, after the application process as well with the scholarship and everything. So I think they were always there for me. That's wonderful. I'm so glad that that was the sort of experience you had. Um, something along the same lines, right? So if I had to ask you how MIM SAS service has added value to this entire application process of yours, so what would you say about that? So uh, how the app application process goes, it's basically how you have to file uh, your fill your resume, uh, SOPs, letter of recommendation, scholarship letter, you have to write a lot of stuff and uh, when I was actually getting into it I was sort of like how am I supposed to write so many things so then uh, Archil made me solve this analysis sheet wherein they used uh, like my consultant used to get me know better uh, who like what I want to do and uh, how will I go about it so when I actually started filing my filling my resume and my whole application process, uh, Anubhav, who was my consultant, we went through around six to seven drafts of uh, writing the uh, resume, SOP recommendation again and again, again and again, again and again till the time it was perfect. So I think that was a very uh, like it was uh, it, it took a lot of time, but I was happy at the end of the day. It was perfect, literally perfect. So glad and the thing is I understand it can be pretty intimidating considering it looks like there's so much to do in the beginning right because you have your resumes to work on your LORs your application uh, so your actual essay SOP and not one edit is enough on that so this entire process of going back and forth with your edits can be pretty intimidating but by the end of it you have a result which you are happy with yeah. and which kind of highlights your strengths right and I think that's the most important considering when you do not have a lot of uh, say you don't have as much time and as much space to put everything in so you kind of have to pick and choose about what will actually come there right so right. that being said i think the last thing that i would want to ask you is just how or what you would suggest to people who are kind of in this thought process of um considering joining in mymsc or considering starting this process so what would you how would you advise them right so when like I just completed my bachelor's and I was totally unsure of how to go about the whole process. When you hire a consultancy, they are there for a reason. They're there to make the whole process easier and you know, get a lot of things from your shoulder, like get back from your shoulder. So I believe it's very important that you hire someone professional to do all this sort of stuff because I believe that I would have not gotten into other colleges or Grenoble for that matter if I would have not hired MIM because they actually uh, like made me uh, believe or you know make me write on my resume that I actually did this stuff which I did not believe so. So I really uh, feel that it's very important that you go ahead with MIM because they are very professional and they know how to get this all stuff done and most importantly uh, they get you they get into contact with you in, with such a consultant that who knows your area of field so i actually was planning to target one particular country from the beginning which was france mm -hmm. and anubhav who has been experienced was studied in france for that matter who knew all about the business schools and everything that goes around so he was right. very well experienced in that matter as well. So I believe that MIM also has very experienced consultant who are actually uh, experienced in what you, the domain which you want to go. So Correct. it's very, it was very resourceful. Thank you so much. Oh, I think am that, I wonderful? 
yeah yeah you are i think it lagged there for a second but thank you so much i think it means a lot coming from someone who's gone through the entire process so it's you're not like an outsider you've been through it and i really agree with one point of yours um, i think it's really important for a consultant not just to be there for the external parts of telling you how what to do and how to do in terms of the process but constantly motivating you is something that i feel just changes the entire ball game right now you're way more confident going into it some things that you might think are relevant in your profile might actually be things that make you different from others right any ngo experience any initiative that you might have taken so that being said sakshi i am so glad that i had this time to uh, speak with you thank you so much for taking out the time to have this conversation with me and like i tell everyone any if you have any doubts uh, you can always feel free to reach out to me to archul mi messi team your pocs we're all we're all going to be here to help you out with the same <laughs> and yeah thank you so much sakshi yeah that would be a thank you Thank you.